going on, DynCor kept the Pentagon contract to administer the smallpox and anthrax vaccines and is now working on a plague vaccine through the Joint Vaccine Acquisition Program. Mr. Secretary, is it policy of the U.S. government to reward companies that traffic in women and little girls? That's my first question. My second question, Mr. Mr. Secretary, according to the Comptroller General of the United States, there are serious financial pro- management problems at the Pentagon, to which Mr. Cooper alluded. Fiscal year 1999, $2.3 trillion missing. Fiscal year 2000, $1.1 trillion missing. And DOD is the number one reason why the government can't balance its checkbook. The Pentagon has claimed year after year that the reason it can't account for the money is because its computers don't communicate with each other. My second question, Mr. Secretary, is who has the contracts today to make those systems communicate with each other? How long have they had those contracts? And how much have the taxpayers paid for them? Finally, Mr. Secretary, after the last hearing, I thought that my office was promised a written response to my question regarding the four war games on September 11th. I have not yet received that response but would like for you to respond to the questions that I've put to you today, and then I do expect the written response to my previous question, hopefully by the end of the week. Um, uh, Thank you, uh, Representative. The first, the answer to your first question is, is no, absolutely not. The policy of the United States government is uh, clear, unambiguous, and opposed to uh, to the activities that you described. The um, second question. Well, how do you explain the fact that um, DynCorp and its successor uh, companies have received and continue to receive government contracts? I would have to go and, and find the facts, but there are laws and rules and regulations with respect to government contracts and there are times that corporations do things they should not do, in which case they tend to be suspended for some period. There are times then that, that the under the laws and the rules and regulations for the, that uh, passed by the Congress and implemented by the executive branch, that corporations can get off of the pen, out of the penalty box, if you will, and and be permitted to engage in uh, contracts with the government. The, Nine corps involved in grabbing over a million people. Where they went, nobody knows. Don't like it? Swat teams drop by. So you want to stop smoking. Well, here's what I want you to do. Go to a drugstore and take a stop smoking product off the shelf. Go to the cashier. Tell them you don't want to pay for the product. You just want to take it home and try it. And if and only if you stop smoking, will you then come back and pay for it? Most likely, if you tried this, you'd be arrested. But as silly as this sounds, this is exactly what the smoke-free free trial offer is. Smoke-free is a complete all-natural stop smoking system. And when you call today, they'll send you a 30-day supply of the program absolutely free. This program eliminates withdrawals and cravings and includes a 30 day supply of the smoke-free capsules, a guide to living smoke-free book, an audio support program, capsule holder, and a bottle of weight loss capsules just in case you're worried about gaining weight while you're trying to quit. To find out if you qualify for this free trial offer, join the tens of thousands who have quit for life with smoke-free. Call 1-800-426-6186 today. That's 1-800-426-6186. This is a limited time offer, so call 1-800-426-6186 now. In the New World Order's war against humanity, Barack Obama is the tip of the spear. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. The Obama deception completely destroys the myth that Obama is working for the best interest of the American people. Well, Obama's already fudged. Yeah, fudged since day one in this election. If you have a demagogue with a fanatical mass movement of personality cultists who is imposing the program of a group of extreme bankers and finance oligarchs, that's fascist. It's not about left or right. It's about a one-world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of the Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. Ah, springtime. Now that you've planted your organic garden, how will you keep the bugs away without using toxic chemicals and poisons? 
Well, the answer is all natural insecticides from freshwaterorganics.com. These revolutionary insecticides start with the same organic product that we use in FPP to kill parasites. We then add a small amount of pyrethrin from chrysanthemum flowers and a mild attractant to offer you the most effective insecticide available anywhere. It can even be applied up to the day of harvest. Our natural insecticides work in the home, on plants, and in your garden, killing pests mechanically, not with poisons. So pests can't develop an immunity, and they won't harm your children or pets. It's effective against white flies, moths, bed bugs, fleas, roaches, crickets, and more, and safe enough to use on your pets, ridding them of fleas and other pests. Order now from freshwaterorganics.com or call 888-949-3570, 888-949-3570 today. You know, we got sidetracked in the first hour with that uh, terrible audio of that lady having her house stolen. By the same sheriff, it turns out, that says he'll arrest you if he criticizes Obama. He'll decide how the campaigns are run and what people can and can't say. <laughs> I mean, this government is just out of the open saying, you're guilty and proven innocent, we're going to take your Second Amendment, you're all terrorists. The whole Homeland Security system is for you. And by the way, we're going to break any laws we want, steal all the money. Like, what's the name of that video? I know we uploaded it from C-SPAN years ago. As far as YouTube hadn't taken it down, I'm sure they will now. Because YouTube wants to be part of it, I guess, part of the cover-up of what happened to all these kids if they do. Because I know they've, they've, they've removed a lot of these videos. I guess this one, one's the one, one we uploaded, hadn't been. It's on the Kenny Grills Rumsfeld. How many views has that got? It's got 123,000. And, and when did we upload that? 2006? The 2006 or 7? I can't see across the room. 2006. Yeah. I'm sure all the CENTCOM guys will go alert Google to shut that down. Be careful, CENTCOM guys who admittedly spend all their time trying to shut us down. Do you really want to be part of that? I mean, do you want to go stop? Uh, people exposing the child kidnapping rings. I mean, do you really want to help censor that? That that's a that's an important decision for you to make. Do you want to sign on and become an accomplice to that? I'm pretty, you probably do. I mean, once you commit to evil, why not go all the way, huh? But would you look at all those little kids in the eyes? You probably would. You probably would. All right. Well, your masters are going to hurt you real bad too. So that's the important thing for you to remember. And then they go on to say, we're not going to tell you where the trillions are, and we're not going to tell you about the NORAD drills we ran that day. That's classified, of the hijacked jets being flown to the exact same targets at the exact same time. Oh, yeah, that's plausible. And then the London bombings, you have the um, exact same trains, exact same bus, exact same time, exact same place, exact same date, attacked the same way with the government running a drill. Don't you know what that's for? That's if other parts of the government caught the government carrying out the attack, they would say they were taking part in a drill. And government's been caught doing that before. Again, it's real simple. If they'll kill a million three hundred thousand Iraqis, folks, they will kill you. They don't care about you. They're into the fact that they hate life and hate you. And all they care about is the money the bankers give them. Money the bankers create out of fiat. Look, I know we got Tony. Wendy, Rob, Dan, Dave, and I said I'd take a lot of calls in. We took quite a few, but I got sidetracked with all this stuff. I um, do want to encourage the listeners to keep fighting. You know, there's one way they can't stop you for now is they do shut down. Google says no more video, and they're phasing out YouTube for users. Google announcement. Google Video is no longer accepting any new uploads to their system. Instead, the video sharing service is referable to YouTube. Many of the tens of millions of videos that users have posted to YouTube Video remain online and available for viewing, at least for the time being. But they're going to shut that down. We have internal folks inside. So I told you about this months ago. They were phasing it out. Google released a statement saying Google Video will continue to focus our mission on the search and um, search and search technology. This move will allow Google Video to spend more time on technologies to make the information contained in online web more available and accessible, enabling users to search all kinds of videos across the web. Such a statement blatantly contradicts the, that that was the core of Google Video system, and such a move only prevents such material from being easily accessible online. Yeah, they banned our videos, banned the hit counts, all of it. 
and they posted a fact page trying to explain this bizarre decision. And we got stories on that coming out, so we'll get to your call.